In 2017, Chanel's creative director, German fashion designer Kari Lagerfeld, would hold one of the most arguably impressive runway shows ever at the Paris Fashion Week that year. The show was very much on par with the bizarre and unorthodox nature of Lagerfeld, something that's made him one of the fashion world's most iconic yet controversial names. The show began with a very strange display, a giant white rocket sitting in the center of the room on an elevated platform. The show would go as expected, with models dressed in a wide variety of eye-catching designer pieces walking along the bizarrely shaped runway. However, at the end of the show, something amazing would happen. The rocket, with its massive proportions, would begin to expel smoke, and what seemed like fire from its engines. It would then lift off of the ground, which makes this show one of the strangest ones in modern history. Not only was the show a stunning one, with Lagerfeld making a star appearance by the end, but it also ended on a shocking note. So, with that said, let's take a look at one of Paris Fashion Week's most memorable runway shows. Chanel's 2017 runway show was an ambitious project, taking its team six months to set up and finalize. It began with a reveal of the set the models would be walking on, a bizarrely shaped walkway that would circle around a large platform in the center. The rocket, with Chanel branding on both sides, appeared lifelike in both proportion and style, and it sat between two large hydraulically hinged cranes, holding it in place. Lagerfeld is known for holding bizarre, elaborate, and complex shows at each Paris Fashion Week. In spring of 2016, as an example, he turned the runway into a supermarket. However, although these former shows were of course impressive displays, none of them would be as visually attention-catching as this one. The models began walking out of a large, dome-shaped structure on the far end of the runway, up a flight of steps, and around the rocket and back. Before we continue on the rocket, however, let's take a look at the fashion. The models walking on the runway were organized in a color-coded fashion based on what they were wearing, with a slight transition taking place between each set of models. This being a fall runway show, of course, audiences got to see many variations of coats and jackets. Many of these pieces displayed during the show featured heavy usage of layering, and almost all of them were patterned in some way. Audiences also got to see diverse varieties of a very specific style of boots, which was made up of a monocolored body and black cap and heels. Certain looks stood out at the show, with my personal favorite styles of the beginning woman's collection being looks 5, 10, 28, and 38. The designs showcased at the event clearly took inspiration from the retro-futuristic fashion trends of the 1960s, which would explain the presence of the rocket. If it wasn't obvious from before, the entire show was space-themed. Following look 38, a small group of male models would begin to walk the runway, all wearing beige and white color combinations over large metallic silver sneakers. These pieces were mainly made up of large suits and jackets, sweaters and long sleeve shirts, and it's actually a pretty interesting collection, with my personal favorite being look number 39. The rest of the show, of course, would continue on the women's collection, with the space-themed inspiration of the show becoming more apparent. Metallic colors and materials became central elements of the runway, and a number of pieces contained direct references to the show's space theme, including images of astronauts and planets. Across this part of the show, I'd say my favorite looks were numbers 49, 63, 72, 84, 90, and 92. I'm actually interested to hear what you guys liked, and I'll leave the link to the show's catalog down below if you're interested in looking. However, the show's most exciting part would take place at the finale. First, a set of models from each style collection would walk around the rocket ship and take positions on the elevated platform, facing the audience. Then, Lagerfeld and a set few models, namely the male ones, all dressed in beige, would walk out onto the runway, although only Lagerfeld and his godson Hudson Kronig would walk onto the actual rocket platform. And as they stood, the rocket began to fume smoke out of its auxiliary jets. 
The two hydraulic walkway cranes on either side of the ship would then go to each side, as large bright yellow, orange, and red lights would shine from each jet, visually simulating fire. The most impressive portion of the show would then take place, with the rocket being set on a large hydraulic lift crane. The rocket would then move up along the crane with the smoke concealing it and giving the effect that it was in fact launching into the air. The makeshift spacecraft launched to the tune of rocket Rocket Man by Elton John, giving it just the right touch. Although the entire display took place across 20 minutes, it was an impressive feat of both fashion design work and engineering. The entire show complemented itself throughout, and the theme was a unique and refreshing deviation. Although Lagerfeld is known for his extravagant and eccentric shows, I would argue that this one was one of his most impressive, if not his greatest runway show. Thank <laughs> you.